Hey guys, yeah, hard to believe we are just a week away from election day. And as you said, turnout has been steady across the state. You see right here at this polling site in Durham, a line starting to form. We're starting to see that after work crowd, people uh, trying to get that vote in early. But again, we have been seeing this across the state. And now that we've had uh, a while of early voting, we're able to paint a better picture of who's voting and what that might mean for the major campaigns. Over 3 million people across the state have now hit the polls and heading into the home stretch, we're learning more about who's making their voice heard. As of today, slightly more registered Republicans than Democrats had cast ballots, something GOP volunteers see as a positive sign. I'm very excited about it. I'm very encouraged. Uh, it's, it's surprising and it's, it's a great surprise. Sandy Joyner says for Republicans, it's a change from 2020 when voters were told to wait until Election Day and could be a sign of enthusiasm for their candidates. Yeah, I think that was that was a big part of the push was that Democrats are always, you know, dominated in early voting. And it, it was like what what can we do, you know, to get the message out to make sure that we that we're out, we're out there voting and we don't wait until election day. And so we've been really heavily promoting that. The data also shows black voters a traditionally core part of the Democratic base slightly behind in turnout. Former state representative Larry Hall says he believes that can turn around this week. I'd always rather be far ahead than even, always. That's not where we are at this time, but we're far ahead on effort and determination and the message we have. Another data point Democrats are looking at women outvoting men at a time when women's rights have become a key campaign issue. Democrats also believe they'll get some crossover support and that unaffiliated voters, which make up the largest voting bloc in the state, can break their way. The unaffiliated voters are key. They're younger. The newly registered voters are much younger. The younger vote is breaking for Harris, and virtually every poll is going to say they're in favor of Harris. So we feel encouraged about that, and it's a matter of getting them to the polls. Yeah, and people are still making their way to the polls right now. Everybody you see behind me here, they will be included in tomorrow's total. So every day we learn more about who is showing up to the polls. Now, after today, there will be four more days of early voting ending on Saturday. Once that uh, Saturday vote is finished, we should get a better sense from the data uh, of who has turned out so far. And from there, it'll just be election day. And both parties will need to see how many people they need to turn out. Uh, as uh, obviously the race for president here in North Carolina is very close, and so are those down ballot races. Reporting live in Durham, Tom George, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.